this is devasis mistra today we will discuss norton's theorem in my previous video i have discussed fabian's theorem so if you like this video then please share with your friends so that it will be helpful for them so we will directly go to the definition norton's theorem is an analytical method used to change a complex circuit into a simple equivalent circuit consisting of a single resistance in parallel with a current source so here i am showing the circuit diagram this is your current source this is your resistance is connected parallel then this is your load resistance okay so in thevenin's theorem what happens a voltage source with a series resistance but in norton's theorem a current source with a parallel resistance procedure for solving norton's theorem step 1 replace voltage sources if any with equivalent current sources identify a pair of terminals a and b across the desired element and mark it as r a b find the current that would flow along the shorted link replacing r a b and mark it as i s step 4 replace all current sources with open circuit and calculate the equivalent resistance by looking into the network from open terminals a and b mark this is as r s draw the norton's equivalent circuit solve for current and voltages as per the below formula that is il is equals to is into the opposition resistance is r s divided by the total resistance r s plus r s and vab is equals to il into r so this is the problem now calculate the current across the 40 ohm by using norton's theorem so in my previous video for thevenin's theorem i have also used this circuit diagram and i have calculated the current across the 40 ohm so here also we use norton's theorem and we also calculate the il the load current that is across the 40 ohm so just see the process to find the norton's equivalent of the above circuit we firstly have to remove the center 40 ohm load resistor and short circuit the terminal a and b to give the following circuit now this is shorted ab is shorted now this is 10 volt this is 10 ohm we will calculate i1 so it will be 10 by 10 it is 1 ampere 20 by 20 it is also 1 ampere see so if i will calculate it, i s here so it will 1 plus 1 it is 2 so that is explained here when the terminal a and b are shorted together then the two resistors are connected in parallel across their two respective voltage sources and the currents flowing through each resistor as well as the total short circuit current now can be calculated as ab shorted i1 is 10 by 10 is 1 ampere i2 is 20 by 20 is 1 ampere therefore i short circuit is i1 plus i2 is equal to 2 ampere which is called is is equals to 2 ampere if we short circuit the two voltage sources and open circuit the terminal a and b the two resistors are now effectively connected together in parallel the value of the internal resistor rs is found by calculating the total resistance at the terminal a and b giving us the following circuit now if i will calculate the rs so now 10 and 20 are connected in parallel because when this is removed so you will see from this side so the different current is going here a different current is going here so 10 and 20 are connected in parallel so find the equivalent resistance rs 10 ohm resistor in parallel with 20 ohm resistor so what will be r1 into r2 by r1 plus r so it is 6.67 ohm having found both the short circuit current is and the equivalent internal resistance rs this is given as the following norton's equivalent circuit so norton's equivalent circuit is this is is 2 ampere rs is 6.67 ohm we now have to solve with the original 40 ohm load resistor connected across the terminal a and b as shown below so now this is is this is rs this is rl so if i will calculate il il here 
So use the current division rule. So total current is I S into opposition resistance is R S divided by R S plus R S. So what is the formula for calculating I L? It will be I L is equals to I S into R S divided by R S plus R S. Simple. So I L is equals to I S into R S by R S plus R S. So I L is equals to two into six point six seven by six point six seven plus forty. It is zero point two eight six ampere. So this is the problem I have solved for Thevenin's theorem and for the Norton's theorem. Same result we get, and you compare with your Thevenin's theorem. Okay. So any doubt, please comment me in the comment section. So thank you. Please like, share, and subscribe my channel.